how to create a verified PayPal account here in Nigeria. So right here in this video, I'm going to be taking you step by step on how you can create a verified PayPal account here in Nigeria. You can agree with me that majority of Nigerians are actually finding it difficult to create a verified PayPal account here in our country. So most times what they do is to actually use VPN to man over this. But right here in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can create a verified working PayPal account here in Nigeria. Okay, this has been tested and trusted. However, welcome back to this channel. This is the voice of Coach Joaquim. If this is your first time coming to this channel, please do well to if this is your first time coming to this channel, please do well to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and most especially turn on the bell notification so YouTube can always notify you whenever I upload any valuable content like what you are about to watch. Now, before we go into creation of PayPal, we should know what PayPal is used for. Now, many of us do businesses online. And most of our clients and um, business partners want to make payment through PayPal or other means. So what PayPal actually means is that it's an online platform that allows you to send and receive money easily from anywhere in the world. It supports over 25 different currencies like dollars, pounds, naira, and more. So these are the countries where PayPal works perfectly. African, American, Asia, and Europe. African has over 48 countries that PayPal works and American has over 44 countries while Asia has over 55 countries and Europe have over 49 countries. Now countries where PayPal does not work are the North Korea, the Pakistan, Syria and Libya. Okay, so these are the countries where PayPal works and does not work. Right here we have different kinds of PayPal accounts. We have the personal account and we have the business account. We also have PayPal Pro account. I'll be explaining this in this video. Now, the personal account is called an individual account or friend and family account. It is also abbreviated to be the FNF account. You can use this to send money to your loved ones, receive money, and also shop online. Now, why the business account is also called the goods and services? It can be abbreviated for GNS, okay? GNS account. It's mainly for selling products or services. Perfect if you are running a business because it supports large transactions and gives extra features like invoicing, loans, and buyer's protection. So why the PayPal Pro account is an advanced account for businesses? It combines everything business needs, a merchant account, payment gateway. It also lets you customize your own checkout page for customers making it look more professional. So you can see right here that these are the three main PayPal accounts. So the one we mostly use is personal and business account. You hardly hear people talk about the PayPal Pro account. Now in creation of this PayPal account, what do we really need? Now in opening a personal account for sending money, shopping or receiving from friends and family, you actually need a valid email address, Yahoo, Outlook and Hotmail and the likes of that. And also, you need a working phone number. This can be a mobile landline, eSIM, or private VoIP number. Okay? You also need a home address where you live. Alright? You also need a bank account to link with your PayPal for adding a withdrawing money. Now, for the business PayPal account and also for the PayPal Pro account, what you actually need is a valid email address, a working phone number, and a home address or a business details, also with an ID. Now, you also need a bank account for linking of your payments and withdrawals. You also need a government-issued ID card, tax identity number, which you can use to verify your account or verify the business which you claim you own. Now, I made a video on this particular channel, how you can create your tax identification number. So, you can go through this channel and find that video and watch that so you can know how to create your own tax identification number. Now, in creation of this PayPal account, we have two ways which you can go about it, which we all know. Now, we will be running two series right in this particular video, how to create a PayPal account in two series, okay? Now, we have one which is using your real documents, no VPN is required, no proxy is required. All you just need to do is to follow the process which I'll be showing you right in this video. Now, PayPal supports accounts in 48 African countries. Out of those 48, 11 countries can both send and receive money. Now, the other 37 countries can only send money they cannot receive. 
okay now this is actually the method we are going to be using right here using our v document no vpn no proxy now the other method is by using a vpn or a proxy still using your legal documents all right with a vpn or proxy the account may be able to both send and receive money now important safety notes using a vpn or proxy to hide or change your country can violate paper rules that is one thing you should know that can lead to your account being limited or closed it's safest to follow paper official requirements and be honest about your real location now these are the african countries that paper supports they can only send and cannot receive we have nigerian ghana niger angola benin Burkina Faso, Cameroon, Cape Verde, and the likes of others right here. So you can see them right here. So these are the supported countries, African countries that can send but cannot receive. Now these are countries that can both send and receive. South Africa, Kenya, Senegal, Botswana, Lesotho, Morocco, Mauritius, Egypt, Algeria, Malawi, and Mozambique. So these are the supported countries that can send and receive funds all over the world via paper so what you should do is to make sure you're picking any of these while creating your paypal account so you can be able to send and receive funds now i'm going to be showing you how you can go ahead to create a paypal account using one of these and you are going to be seeing the particular one i am going to be picking to create a verified working paypal account here in nigeria so right here the one we are going to be using is the lexoto to open a paypal account why are we using Lexoto? We will be using Lexoto because it's a small African country with relatively low crime and stable business activity. That means it's a safer option for opening a PayPal account compared to some other places. Why not another country smaller? More stable countries like Lexoto tend to have fewer fraud reports and more reliable business environments that helps reduce the risk of account problems okay so this is what you have to do you have to click the first link on the pinned comment section or you can go over to your paypal with this particular link all right so you are going to be creating a paypal account using the real legal document my name my address and my id you are going to be doing this without using a vpn or a proxy right in this video now a quick reminder using a vpn or proxy to hide your real location can break paper rules and may lead to your account being limited or close always be honest about your details so right here i'm going ahead to show you how to create this working paypal account here in nigeria now to go ahead to create your paypal account here in nigeria it is better you go ahead using your brave browser so you can go ahead to use your brave browser all right so first of all what i'm going to do is to come right here and type in paypal.com slash ls so you can see that so right here we are on this page this is the particular interface we are going to be using to create our paypal account so right here you can see where it says the simpler safer way to pay and get paid so the reason why we are actually using ls is because we actually picked one of the countries that can send and receive funds through paypal which is lexoto okay so right here what you're going to be doing is to come right and click on sign up for free so once you click on that you're going to be brought into this interface where you can either choose a personal account or a business account so right here what you're going to be doing is to click on the business account then click on continue but before then you can go under this personal account and see what it says and also the business account that accept payments and send invoices to your customers so right here what we're going to be doing is to click on continue under the business account now right here what you're going to be doing is to put in your first name so right here what i'm going to do is to put in the first name of this account so once i put in the first name i come right here and put in the last name so put in the last name okay so once you've put in the first name and the last name the next thing you want to do is to come down right here and select your nigerian full number your nigerian full number so you are going to be selecting nigeria right here so once you select that you're going to be putting your nigerian phone number right here so right now i'm going to add the nigerian phone number right here okay so once that is done the next thing i want to do is to input an email address okay make sure the email address you're using is an email address you've not used on paypal before and make sure this email address has not been linked to paypal at all all right so we are going to put in the paypal address right here and we are going to put in our password 
right here so before putting your password you can see that you need to enter between 8 to 20 characters use upper and lower case letter then enter at least one number or one symbol so that is what i'm going to be doing right here so right now i've inputted my password as you can see the enter between 8 to 20 characters ticked green use uppercase and lowercase letters tick green enter at least one number or one symbol tick green so these are what you just need to do then come right here and tick this box right here then come down and click on agree and create account so once you click on that you can see right here so once you click on that it's going to load up as you can see where it brought us to we have made some changes to keep your account even safer so right here they said confirm your mobile number to use in case you ever need help logging in so they are going to be sending a code to this particular mobile number so what you just need to do is to click on text you a code so right now a code will be sent to your mobile number so all you just need to do is to copy that code and paste right here and paste this code and come down and click on submit as you can see you are all set now this is what you're going to be doing after this so what you're going to be doing is to activate your account start using paper so just come down right here and click on let's go so you can see the message we just got right here now this is where it brought us to all you just need to do is to come down right here we have the individual seller stroke so proprietorship and we also have the business what you're going to be doing is to come right here and select individual seller okay so um, once you select that you're going to be coming down right here to select business type which is the sole proprietorship okay so once you've done that the next thing you want to do is to come down and click on next right now under this interface you can see where it says fill us in on the basics okay so what you're going to be doing you can see that the name is already on this particular interface so what we are going to be doing is to put in a date of birth as you can see that the nationality is a Lexoto now we are going to be coming right here and filling out these details so we are going to be coming right here to put in the date of birth which is 10 10 1980 okay so you can see that nationality is actually an Lexoto so right here you can see that we have nationality to be Lexoto so you are going to come down right here and you're going to search for Nigeria this does not actually matter just come right where you are going to be finding Nigeria where's Nigeria so we're going to be selecting Nigeria so once you've done that this is actually the mobile number we are using so right here this is the next thing you're going to be doing under address line one you can just come down right here and put in Lagos okay Lagos Ikeja all right line two does not actually matter now under city just come down and put in Ikeja under states and region just come down right here and still put in lagos this is what i have tried and it has been working perfectly so put in a random poster code right here then once you're done you're all set come down right here and click on um, next so you can see right here take a moment to double check your address all right so come right here and click on confirm so now this is the interface you're being brought to you need to put in a business name now this business name happens to be your full name you can see we just got a message that we should confirm our address now we are going to be putting in our full name right here now this is the full name we are going to be putting because this is an account i'm creating for one of my students so i decided to make it a video where you can also learn from So after that, you can just come right here. What is your business registration number? Okay, now you are going to be leaving that aspect. So what is your business registration uh, number? You are going to leave that aspect. What is your primary currency for your business? So you can come right here and select US dollar. So it's already on US dollar. So we are going to select US dollar for that. Now, what do you sell or what service do you offer? now you can just go ahead to choose anything right here there's a drop down right here which you can choose anything for yourself so let me look for 
something similar to what we want to use this paper for so let's say we are going for let me pick something okay so you can just pick anything right here then the next thing you want to do under here you can see do you have a business website come right here and click on no now what you're going to be doing is to come down right here and click on use the residential address okay you can see all what i just said so that is what you're going to be doing so the next thing you want to do is to come down and click on next right here you can see take a moment to double check then come down right here and click on confirm now once you click on confirm your paypal account will be on set you can see congrats you are all set so let's go over to home now this paypal account was created without a vpn this is a paypal account that i have been using for over two to three years without any restriction now this is the method i have been using and this is the method that some people have been using now when you come right here you're going to be seeing what paypal sent me your account features are post now what you're going to be doing is to verify your account that's what paypal need from you that is why your account features are post now you're going to go over to your account you can see submit info to access fonts so what you're going to be doing first of all is to come down to this hamburger icon right here and you're going to be seeing that you have features right here let's see what we have on the notification now this is what you ought to do when you set up your paypal account this is where some people are finding it very difficult in getting their paypal account and last long for them you can see right here it says confirm your email address and link confirm debit card now most people will ignore this for over a week over a month and when coming back to their paypal account their paypal account is already restricted or has been blocked now what we're going to be doing is to click on see details right here so we are going to be confirming our email address now you need to make your browser your default browser for you to confirm your email address so what you're going to be doing is to come right here and click on confirm you can see reset your confirmation link to your email id so what we are going to be doing is to go over to our email to confirm this so we are going to come right here you can see the activation message please activate your account so you are going to come right here and click on activate your account so once you click on it because this is actually my default browser you need to make this particular browser your default browser for you to have easy access to also come to always to always come back to that browser to activate any account you're creating i'm going to come right here and put in the password and i'm going to log in right now just to confirm the email you can see your email has been confirmed so click on continue right here so the features that have been posted will be relieved right on your paypal account now the other thing you need to do for you to start using your paypal account is to submit info to access your funds now this is where you're going to be going to once you click on that it's going to be asking you you need some information right here now these are the informations these are the reference number so what you just need to do is to always come right here to upload an id so you are going to be uploading a national id any of your international passports or any id you have just go ahead to upload it right here and you're going to be resolving this for yourself so that is how you can go ahead to create a paypal account here in nigeria without any restriction this method has been used and confirmed by so many of my students that are into service now you can come right here and you can see the dashboard you have on your account so all you just need to do right here is to make sure you go ahead to verify your account immediately so once you're done with that your paypal account is good to go so that is how you can go ahead to create a paypal account here in nigeria without any restriction however after you have created your account the next thing you want to do right now is to come right here and link a bank account or you can go ahead to link a debit card so what you just need to do is to link a bank account or you can go ahead to link a debit card after you might have verified your account with any passport or id you have as they have requested so that is how you can create a paypal account here in nigeria that can send and receive funds all over the world and so thank you for watching this video to this point i hope you understood how to create a paypal account without any vpn and how you can keep it running without any restriction and if you have any questions regarding all what i said feel free to drop them on the comment section below and i'll be glad to give response to that and so thank you for watching and see you on my next video keep winning